Uh, thank you, Bobby. Bobby said that he thinks just nine are playing, not ten, from the Black Mermaid. So. Okay. And here we go. Game starts, and we see the referee. <laughs> and we. So, like we already said, uh, the Orcas in blue and uh, the Mermaids are going for the Colombian basket. And put already a bit of a pressure onto the basket of the Colombians, which is uh, for me in the beginning here uh, quite a surprise. Like I said, I would have guessed it would be other ways around, so maybe we see well, we have an here, attack uh, number uh, both, yeah. different game than we expected. That was a good chance to score from the open side. And uh, the Mermaids are definitely here in ball possession controlling the game. And uh, the Orcas have a hard time withstanding the pressure they're getting on their defense just around the basket. But you see the different style, uh, like the, black, uh, the Mermaids are coming just from the corner. Not that much swimming we see from the uh, Columbia yeah, normally. Yeah, it's a bit static. Yeah. But if it's effective... Uh, there is nothing to criticize, it's just uh, the way you have to play with the team. Now we see a counter-attack from the Orcas, the middle of the pool going forward. A little Sylvia. bit hesitant because there are not enough players to put really a fast uh, counter-attack into the playing area of the Mermaid. See, this is Sylvia that got the pass and is coming over onto the other side and pass it farther. Um, they're trying to attack over the side, but it's very interesting to see just how coming one after the other one. They're missing some players. Uh, this is very... Normally this is not the game we know. Um, I think they are tuning up a little bit. Uh, now we have two on the water. They're trying to do the circle around. Uh, the women normally tend to swim more around than the, the male. The male team passed the ball a bit faster. There's two different techniques and uh, black mermaids uh, are really concentrated and being in position and disrupting and also building kind of a wall between the defender and the forward and the forward checking. The so orcas are really high in the defense yes. of the mermaids. They don't uh, attack from uh, the bottom of the pool, but they stay quite high in the in the, the, the level of the goalkeeper. And this pass was intercepted here uh, in front of the Orca basket, of the uh, Mermaid basket. And we see the Mermaids now trying to push into the playing area of the Orcas, but are stopped um, and tackled up to the surface. We have a cluster on the surface now. A uh, Colombian player in ball possession, heavily attacked by a Mermaid player. Pass goes forward didn't really succeed in the hands of uh, the Orca player who is uh, in front of the Mermaid basket but uh, the forechecking was quite good here and stopped. Oh, this is a good chance for the Orcas now to skeet. There was no defense on the basket but it took the player a little bit too long. Yeah, um, she was too high as well yeah, to really have it. Seven was, she was trying to get her arm around the body of the goalkeeper but uh, the defense got in place and stopped her. So we're back again in front of the mermaid basket. The players are swimming back and forth, trying to find um, an open gap in the defense. But uh, the Orcas are, they, they are really attacking from high above uh, of the goalkeeper and trying to get in there. But that's a dangerous zone with the forechecking defense in place and uh, snatching away, tackling away the players. But here again, another chance for the Orcas coming in. Ball is, oh, there uh, we have the one that oh, there was stole there. Oh, oh that was safe. Orca players that was the really basket. great was work. Inside, <laughs> but the Mermaid player snatched it away in the last second. Sorry, Lorena. No, it's okay, it's okay. I'm just checking what are the next uh, also games to come in the classification. We have Lilo Diaz now coming one-on-one, -on -one, trying to pull up the goalie. All right, she was stopped a little bit. And now they're in the corner and the surface. This kind of game, it would take you know, a lot of the pace and the energy of the game, you know, to be pulled up and then fight. And It takes the Orcas quite a while to um, execute their attacks. Yep. It's this, uh, this, this, this pinch of a second um, you need to succeed. And it's a little bit, too, oh, this was a, this is a good chance. There is an open basket. It took them too long again. The, to turn around, it's a little bit like a, a, a time lag they have. Go. Here's the goal. Goal! The Orcas, chicos, acaban de meter un gol. Sí, ahora sí fue, pero no pude ver quién. 
alguien puede well, ver, reconocer a las niñas que well a veces earned. son más igualitas de cuerpo para verlas a veces. A los chicos los tengo más identificados. Couldn't see the number, did you? Because uh, it was a little bit on the other was, side. And... Brave with the, with the hearts on the, on the But look, it has taken half of the game. Yeah. And I really thought that maybe it would have been a little bit more difficult for uh, Sweden to defend. But they're doing a great job. And now they're already attacking. We're on the half of the Orcas. Something. What happened? Uh, attack on the equipment, apparently. The Free throw against... Orcas, de un tiro libre contra uh, las muchachas de Orcas, porque pues, aparentemente atacaron a la cabeza o al, e al equipo. Y a ver si pueden realmente mm, organizarse y jugar un poquito más la el dinámica de juego que tienen. Ahora están haciendo un contraataque. Let's see who is coming, but again, una solita en la esquina. Están haciendo eso demasiadas veces, que a veces están solas y les cuesta bajar en grupo. Están mucho en la superficie, no sé si están nerviosas. Pero Viena, eh, Viena, perdón, eh, Su Suecia está defendiendo muy bien, entonces necesitan crear más olas de ataque y más presión porque si no les va a costar. Y 1 a 0, la verdad es que tendrían que trabajar en tratar de meter otro, otro gol más. So still the Orcas have to be careful in this game here. Um, the Mermaids are uh, very well up to score and it's just a 1-0 lead and still three and a half minutes left in the, sec in the first half here of the Orcas from Colombia in blue against Black Mermaids in white against from Sweden and uh, the Orcas are attacking the Swedish basket trying to come from above it's, it's again quite high there attacking which surprises me a little bit they don't stay that low uh, here the player was giving a sign to the referee She couldn't get rid of the ball and the, the ball was, be, was pressed against her throat. So it's a free throw against Sweden for uh, strangling. And here comes the Colombian team again, coming from the close side, from the corner, trying to push into the defense of the Mermaids here from the open side. That's a good chance. But again, a little bit of a, not a hesitation, but it's like, how, how do you do this, this, uh, this movement? To, to score and it took a little bit too long again um, although there was a good opportunity with no defender and an open side on the open side back on the surface uh, tackling on the surface and again another wave comes in but just one player I think it could be four now going in I'm with you in a minute. I'm just checking the groups. Uh, Back and forth, and then another good chance. Well, and again, it, it took a little it, bit too long. Yes, and it went up too fast without being able to grab yeah. the goalie. And, and we it have was a, a nice situation. Yeah. She was all alone uh, on the side with no mm. defender, and she was uh, attacking over the head. But it, it, it I missed the hand in the neck, or you know, trying to be yeah. able to pull. They were coming with the ball towards the head, and the and head here was we too are well protected. In the Uh, in the game area of the Orcas and uh, the Mermaids are pushing into the defense of the Orcas. The Orcas trip the ball out of the hands of the Mermaid players and try to get away from the basket. Wow, that was a nice interception and a ball snatch from the Mermaids and back again on the Orca basket from the close side on the surface, back and forth. And the Mermaids now really step up their game and give the Orcas around uh, the Colombian basket a hard time to defend. This is a this is a excited push from the close side into the basket. Oh, here it is! Here is the goal! Wow, goal from Sweden! And I have Sweden. to admit, it was Great, really Bona. earned. Uh, it was hard work for, and like I said, this game is not over. And uh, the way the Mermaids here worked for this goal was uh, definitely earned. Chicos, ya los veo a Federico arrancando de los pelos. O sea, <laughs> las chicas de Suecia son buenas, pero eh, la verdad es que el equipo de Orcas como que no está jugando normalmente la dinámica y la calidad de juego que pueden tener. It's like, I, I know that uh, Sweden plays well, but I also see that Orcas is not playing really the, the tactic that they normally can do. I don't know either because they're not concentrated or because Sweden is doing a lot of pressure and they cannot manage. So I'm I'm surprised. I really um, thought that it would have been uh, maybe already too steer or something like that. So great job. I mean, we have one of the Orcas position right underneath to do the Marla, which is funny enough. The Swedish 
developed that technique and brought it up to Colombia 20 years ago and now they are using it against each other. <laughs> a bit of a historical fact. So the first half is almost over, some seconds left, ball drops down, that's it. A three minutes break in this game of uh, the Orcas from Colombia in blue against the Black Mermaids from Sweden in white. And uh, you're watching uh, the live transmission from the 31st Champions Cup uh, here in Berlin. My name is Wolf and I'm with Lorena. We are both with the Sportler Berlin, which is uh, our home team here in Berlin. And uh, we do, do the comments now for uh, since 2014 for the Champions Cup. And uh, it's always a pleasure and an honor to share the atmosphere around the pool at the Champions Cup. And I talked to a lot of players in the uh, yesterday. This is the second day of the competition. And uh, everybody loves this, this feeling of a, a high volume competition, but the feeling of kind of family, of networking, sitting together, drinking tea. It's like uh, you're having a coffee with your opponent, you're going to play in the next game. But it's, uh, it almost feels like uh, getting together to have a big party, which we'll actually have tomorrow in the evening. And it's, uh, it's a family event, but uh, nevertheless, it's competition on a high, very high level. And uh, this game is uh, open now again. Um, could be both teams are able to win this game. And uh, the Orcas are, like Lorena already said, look like a little bit uh, tired or not really into the game. And the Marriott with their nine players they have really mm. stepped it up and go into the, the yeah. defense. And but, I mean, they have a lot of new players in Orcas. I think maybe four four or five and uh, probably it's also a lot of nervosity to be here uh, that could be also one uh, one factor right absolutely definitely and uh, well chat like as well I mean it's a lot of things uh, and also Sweden I mean it's, it's been really concentrated and, and working uh, they've surely studied the tactic and saw how how they could uh, really uh, disrupt the game and, and counter-attack. I mean, uh, they're also very experienced players uh, in the team. So let's it's, see it's what, uh, what, do, what is your prediction for the next half time. I'm, I'm fitting in the schedule for the next game. That's pretty uh, difficult to say. Um, both teams, I think, I'm a little bit in favor of uh, uh, the Orcas with the chances to win, but uh, if uh, the Mermaids can keep up uh, their speed and their focus they showed in the last uh, four minutes in the first half, I think they are able to win this uh, game and the Orcas really, really, really have to be careful. Um, they should score within the first one to three, two minutes and then uh, stop everything uh, the mermaids try to do. But I think it would be the same tactic for the mermaids. So I think the, the first goal in the, in the first three minutes will decide this game. Here we go. Mm, I think it will take longer to do a score. Oh, great pass up. The orcas got to the ball and now they're going, getting towards the close corner. They're coming over the open, they're trying to pass in the middle. It takes a little bit too long and they bring the game too fast to up in the surface. Okay, next one coming on the right hand side. Passing into the middle. This is uh, a T coming from the right, no, from the left now. And trying to pass, there's one player position on the right, but uh, there was a good defender from um, Sweden trying to stop the pass. I mean, they're, they're being two meters away from the goal. I mean, they're very successful, the Swedish girl, to keep them uh, really at the distance. They're not dangerous at all. And uh, I, I guess, what, what's your impression, Lorena? But I see it faster. Faster game, definitely. The, uh, definitely. The they're moving the, the ball the more. The ball playing is faster around the mermaid basket and the swimming is faster. They are preciser and the more the team effort is uh, more visible now. But this was intercepted. This attack was intercepted by a mermaid player, tackled up to the surface. And a dangerous situation for the Orcas if they uh, cannot stop uh, the counter attack. And they did. Uh, ball is back again in Oh, no, that's the position, chance. but the goalie really good, uh, 
good job of just turning around and the problem what I'm seeing is when they attack they go up too fast if they're missing the first they're already above the goalie so they cannot intend maybe a second time so they're coming out on the close corner passing in the middle and the, the forward checking of Sweden is really good yeah. they have the feeling of seven or eight players underwater the question is if they can hold it up we are in the first uh, minute here in the second half the question is if they can keep it up when the outcasts are able to control the ball as long as they do around uh, the mermaid basket they will get a chance oh this is one again another attack from a pass nicely done the ball popped out into the hand of the player waiting on the open side was trying to go in and again and again this is uh, very nicely played by the outcasts around um, under and, the defense yeah. but uh, also the focus of the mermaids is amazing they know where the ball is on every second i see also they have more underwater time than they had in the first half now we have two against one and that's a goal goal and i couldn't see who had because both have the ball exactly they do that attack a lot they which is fantastic because they both have the hands on the ball and they push it's two against one and quien vio quien que metió el gol porque estaban las dos con las manos y no pude ver que hay que estar la verdad que han estado están jugando mejor están jugando más rápido están teniendo más tiempo bajo el agua pero las chicas de Suecia están la, verdaderamente defendiendo de una manera increíble entonces van a tener que estar muy muy atentas ahora y si siguen empatados por supuesto vamos a penaltis I mean remember we have a tie then we go to penalties and now we have the Swedish girls right under the basket they are also going over the corner and great recovery by the uh, Colombian players trying to swim a counter attack they are already two coming uh, Lilo just could stall the basket this is something she does her sister her brother also does and now it's a goal great I mean there was desperate desperation by the Swedish trying to recover that um, basket and uh, amazing score really good uh, attack and now it's a time out that the Swedish team is trying to ask 3-1 and now they have six minutes just to choose to to do two goals I would I would guess like I said uh, before the um, second half started this was the decision <laughs> of the game um, especially with two with a lead of two goals, I think it should be able for the uh, for the orcas to stop everything. The mermaids, because now they only have to stop it. They yeah, don't but that's easier said than that. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely true. But nevertheless, it's, it's always more comfortable to start through the two two lead, two goal lead. Now, yeah, now that's the game. What I was meaning that I was missing before. Yeah. It's very yeah. awake and really snappy and yeah. quickly decision. Snappy. snappy. I like yeah. that word. Snappy. Snappy. It, it sounds like a dog name. Hey Snappy, come over. I think, yeah, the pep talk from Federico in the halftime was uh, important because they, they look al almost like they were sleeping in the first yeah. half. They were really, really, really slow. I, I, I also have to say, you know, Federico is not only playing himself, but he's coaching the team. The too. team, yes. That's, uh, that's a lot of pressure. He just finished the one uh, match and then jumped yeah. into the water to yeah. coach the women, yeah. So now, Back in the game and five uh, uh, minutes, five and a half minutes left in the second half here with the Orcas in blue from Colombia against the Black Mermaids in white from Sweden. And we have a 3-1 lead for the Orcas. I'm pretty sure, um, a call from the referee, ball was outside of the playing area and it's a free throw against the Mermaids. Okay. Now the time is playing in favor, uh, is ticking in favor of the Orcas and uh, a free throw is a good chance to start moving the ball, being in ball possession and let the time work for you, less than five minutes left. Well, that was a long pass out in the open and here we go again, the Orcas starting there swimming around uh, the mermaid defense. That was Angelica. Before we go into the defense now.
there's always another player waiting for the ball to be received. It's it's very yeah. well done. So they keep the the offense, uh, defense, and the defenders running behind them, behind their fast ball playing. Another um, ball from the referee. Ball, I think it's going it's to going be a up. free throw. There was like a equipment we attack see or. What, uh, Decision is free throw against the mermaids. Yes. Okay. Let's see. Four minutes to go. Free throw for Orcas. And let's see. I mean, if I would be Orcas, I would play safe. I would continue attack, but I wouldn't go into any unnecessary risk. So Sylvia just passed the ball up, and now we need to have more people on the water. Coming over the close corner, moving in on one side, now diving to the other, passing toward the middle, going on to the other side. I love this dynamic. It's like a yeah, dance around. Yeah. And it's so difficult for the defense to it's follow horrible, these yeah. fast passes. You don't want to be the defender. You never know where, because you, it takes you always, you're lacking behind the position. Mm. You're always reacting and it's just a lot of a stress. But uh, the defense here of the Black Mermaids uh, is wide awake and uh, I haven't seen any mistakes in the defense really. They always know where the ball is yep. and get right in place yep. to intercept it. Uh, compliments to the defense work of the nine players we see here in the water. Yeah, really, really good game. They are now fighting for the ball in the surface and uh, we have always a Swedish girl underneath to, you know, waiting for the ball to fall, what just happened. And we have a counter attack, two of the Swedish team are coming toward the goal of the Colombian team but they've been diverted by the four taking to the right and something happened there was an attack on the head to the mask apparently ah that's a pity because that could have been a possibility for Sweden there was a nice attack but uh, because of the fault now it's going to be a free throw for Orcas and now they are again on the half of the Swedish team they pass the ball they're going trying to go and attack on one side they've been tackled away by two players and Lilo just got the ball, it's the captain, he's coming toward, passing the ball to the side, perfect, going up this double passes, his fast game up and down, right and left, this is really really nice to see, really difficult for the defenders, really difficult for the four check-in you swim yourself dead, you need to be careful, you need to wait for the right moment to intercept the passes you need to be very skilled to be able to intercept those passes. We have one and a half minutes. We have one of the Colombians next to the goalie, but a great recovery by one of the Swedish players. He's fighting now against two Colombians, still in possession of the ball. The Colombians recover the ball and now uh, are attacking. And they're coming from the side. They're right underneath the goalie, but they were very well defend and the time is ticking in favor again the one minute left here uh, black mermaids are in ball possession going forward trying to break out of their own playing area but stopped by the forging of the orcas less than a minute left oh here we go again two orca two against one two orca players against the mermaid goalkeeper and now we have this really number 10 Lilo again trying to score pushing up she's too high and she just lost the ball the, um, something happened there was a fall and it's going to be a free throw for the black May. they have really 20 seconds if one of them would just maybe fast and try to s steal the basket we saw, but it's taking too we long. We saw a game uh, with two uh, almost equal uh, um, players, but the Orcas had a little bit more of the edge uh, to win this game. So end of the game and three-one for half. this game. So 3-1 for Orcas, 3-1 ha ganado las chicas de Orcas, la verdad que ha sido un juego bastante eh, difícil al principio porque el equipo de Orcas realmente no estaba pudiendo jugar 
de la forma que conocemos, la dinámica moviendo el balón, nadando más y las chicas de Suecia la verdad que estaban haciendo una buena defensa. Finalmente en el segundo tiempo vimos que eh, el juego mejoró y bueno, finalmente 3 a 1. Pero bueno, la verdad que nos tuvieron ahí con los nervios, ¿verdad? <ríe> Congratulations uh, to both teams. <laughs> that was a really great match. I mean, Black Mermaids have done an amazing job defending and disrupting the, the tactic of the Colombian team. Uh, it's really, really good. Really with fun players, to watch. With yeah, with players. nine players. I mean, really nothing easy to do. <laughs> let, let me know. I mean, we're still <laughs> talking about me. our sound. What is this? What is not? Um, I'm trying to, to speak even a bit lower if possible because I think it's better for the microphone but uh, we are now uh, waiting for the next game that is going to start in one and a half minutes which will uh, be? Is, uh, ah, Langen Wien for the female teams because Langen made the first position in their group which is the F group in Vienna did second place uh, in their group and the E group. So it comes Langen against Vienna and then Akaren uh, against Amager uh, after that. So Langen versus Vienna first, Germany versus uh, Austria. So Könntest auch ein bisschen Deutsch reden? <lacht> ah, wir können jetzt, genau. Wir können unsere äh, deutschen und äh, äh, österreichischen äh, Zuschauer mal ein bisschen auf Deutsch hier ähm, besprechen. Ähm, gebt uns mal Feedback, von wo ihr uns zuschaut. Ähm, was ist eure Heimatstadt? Ähm, was ist euer Heimatteam? Ähm, wen kennt ihr hier im, äh, in, in diesem Game? Und äh, gibt uns auch ein bisschen Feedback über die Qualität äh, der Sounds. Wir sind immer noch ein bisschen am äh, Nachjustieren. So, dann äh, Schiedsrichterentscheidung. Er trennt die beiden Teams. It was called from the referee. He's separating the teams in the pool. And sends them both to their sides. Both referees are going up. And the team captains are called to the deck referee. Okay. Oh, uh, they. I think it could look like a false start. I mean, why are they back to the ten? We don't know exactly what's going on. The two team captains are going to the 